Thanks to EA Access's 10 hour trial and lots of backlash over how long it takes to unlock heroes and earn credits in Star Wars Battlefront 2, DICE has announced that they will be reducing the credit cost of the heroes across the board. The amount of credits needed to unlock the top heroes has been reduced by 75%, but in doing so, EA also reduced the amount of credits you receive for completing the campaign, from 20,000 to 5,000. According to EA, the reason for the latter change was because the campaign is only intended to give players enough credits to purchase Aiden, whose cost has also been lowered. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is getting a new desert map. That's actually been known for some time, but publisher Blue Hole hasn't explained further than that. However, thanks to the efforts of a super fan of the game, the PC 1.0 test servers were data mined, and what came out of it was more fruitful than a desert. Reddit user Bizfarts found and uploaded an image showing the new map from an aerial view. It's likely that the location names are merely placeholders, but the layout seems accurate. Beyond this, Reddit user Art7s found images of a new jet ski, minibus, and pickup truck to add to the art arsenal of vehicles. And lastly announced at the Tekken World Tour Finals, it was revealed that Final Fantasy XV's Noctis Lucis Callum, the Crown Prince and heir to the throne of Lucis, will be added to Tekken 7's roster this spring. Wielding the power of kings and sporting a signature engine blade, Noctis looks to deal some big blows to the rest of the Tekken 7 fighters when he enters the King of Iron Fist tournament in spring 2018. Bandai Namco released a trailer showcasing Noctis's powerful fighting abilities, and it looks like the new fighter will also come with a theme stage, the Hammerhead Garage from Final Fantasy XV. 